I needed a new outfit for a job interview the other day and at the time I took it for granted that I could just go to the shops and there were hundreds of options to choose from. I got frustrated that I couldn't find something that I liked, but I didn't stop to realise that these frustrations were, in hindsight, superficial. I wasn't worried about finding something that didn't have buttons or zips. I didn't need to consider whether my shoes would be compatible to wear with a prosthetic limb. I didn't need to think about whether my clothes had an elastic waist or were suitable for wearing in a wheelchair or allowed easy access to a medical device. Upon reflection of my shopping trip, I think about how the majority of clothing stores, both physical and online, do not really cater for people with disabilities and impairments. And this is a major injustice given the power of clothing and its sociocultural significance. Wearing my new interview outfit gave me confidence. I felt professional, put together and comfortable in my own body. And everyone should be able to feel like this. Just because someone's had a stroke and they can no longer zip and button their jeans, they should not be bound to a life in track pants. A person with hypersensitivity to seams and tags should not be restricted in what they wear. Adaptive clothing is a growing space that empowers people to be able to wear the clothing that they want to wear whilst catering for their disability or impairment. And most importantly, these modified clothing items are made to look just like mainstream apparel items. Adaptive clothing is such an important area for OTs and the innovations in this space are constantly evolving. There are so many adaptive clothing options out there, so I wanted to point out eight of the adaptive clothing items that I've come across. Number one, adaptive fastenings. There are options for hidden Velcro and magnetic closures on dresses, tops, pants and lingerie for people who don't have sufficient dexterity to manipulate typical fastenings. Fake buttons and zips can also be sewn onto these clothing items, helping to make them appear no different to any other button-up shirt or regular pair of denim jeans. As an alternative to purchasing these pieces of clothing, existing clothing items can also be modified by adding alternative fastenings including Velcro, magnetic strips, easy clasp zips or pop closures. Number two, adaptive underwear. One of the more widely available pieces of adaptive clothing is the front closing bra, which can generally be purchased from most clothing stores. You can also get side closing bras, or the fastenings on the bras can be replaced with alternative closures such as magnetic Velcro or zip closures. Some front closing bras can also have sewn in finger loops, which can help people with reduced dexterity from conditions such as arthritis to be able to fasten the bra. There are also more options for side fastening underwear designed for wheelchair users and people with impaired mobility. The side fasteners on both sides of the underwear allow users to put underwear on while sitting, standing or even lying down. Number three, adaptive pants for wheelchair users. Mainstream pants are typically designed to look best while standing up, which can make them uncomfortable for wheelchair users. Adaptive jeans are made to have a lower cut in the front with a higher back for a more flattering look and comfortable feel. These jeans can also come with Velcro openings and flaps to make it easier to don and doff while seated, as well as front pockets that are more easily accessible to wheelchair users. Number four, adaptive footwear. Several footwear companies and brands have options for shoes that accommodate for various disabilities and impairments. Shoes can be adapted to be made easier to put on through slip-on openings, medial zips, hook and loop fasteners, elastic laces and buckles. Some brands sell shoes that are orthotic, AFO or prosthetic friendly with more room and side zip closures to accommodate for the device. Furthermore, some progressive companies acknowledge that not everyone requires two shoes or two shoes of the same size and can sell differently sized or even individual shoes. Alternative shoelaces, including coils, magnetic and elastic laces, can also usually be purchased from mainstream shoe shops and department stores. Number five, device-friendly clothing. 
Adaptive shirts and pants that are designed for use with medical devices have purposefully positioned zips, closures, flaps and openings. This allows for easy access to medical devices such as ports, catheters and tubes, whilst preserving the dignity of individuals and eliminating the need for them to fully undress in order to access these devices. Number six, clothing design for prosthetics. Clothing designed for use with prosthetics are often made from fabrics with reinforced areas and extra room around the joint or prosthetic. Additionally, some amputee-friendly pants can come with zipper access to the prosthesis. The length of sleeves and pant legs can also be altered to the length of an individual's preference. Number seven, pull-up loops. Pants, skirts and other types of bottoms can be adapted to include reinforced belt loops or added pull-up loops that can assist individuals and carers with lower body dressing tasks. This simple yet effective innovation can be especially useful for people with limited hand function or grip strength, making it easier to pull up a pair of pants. The loops can tuck away into the waistband, allowing the pants to appear like any other ordinary pair of bottoms. Number eight, sensory friendly clothing. Sensory friendly clothing items are available for children and adults who may be hypersensitive to the seams and tags on typical clothing. Sensory friendly clothing is made from soft, non-itchy fabrics and have flat seams and no tags. Here are just some examples of the Australian adaptive clothing companies that sell inclusive clothing items for men, women and children with a range of disabilities, needs and impairments. Adaptive clothing is a growing space and there are so many more types of adaptive clothing items out there. There are also so many other ways that OTs can be creative in adapting existing clothing items of their clients.